In this video, we'll figure the number of atoms for calcium acetate. So there's two ways we can write calcium acetate. One way we have our calcium, and this is the acetate ion here, CH3COO, and it would have a negative charge. We could also write the acetate ion C2H3O2, again with a negative charge. These are the same things, just a little bit different way to write them. So we'll go with the first one here. And we'll start by writing the element symbols. So we have calcium, Ca, carbon, hydrogen, and then oxygen. So these are the atoms we have in calcium acetate. For calcium, there's nothing written after the Ca, so we assume the subscript is going to be 1. So we have one calcium atom. Same for the carbon here. We have one carbon here and for this one here. So there's two carbons, but this 2, it applies to everything inside the parentheses. So I count my carbons up, one, two, two times this two, that'll give me four carbon atoms. For the hydrogen, I have three, three times the two, that gives me six of those. The oxygens, I have one plus one, two, times the two here, that gives us four. So if we add this all up for the calcium acetate here, we have 15 total atoms. Sometimes you'll be asked to figure out the number of atoms in one mole of calcium acetate. So for calcium, we would take one, that's how many calcium atoms we have, multiply it by Avogadro's number, and that would give us the number of calcium atoms in one mole of calcium acetate. For the carbon, we have four atoms, so we'll multiply four times Avogadro's number, and that gives us the number of atoms for the carbon. Likewise, for the hydrogen, we'd multiply six times Avogadro's number. For the oxygen, four times Avogadro's number. So that's how you figure out the number of atoms in CaCH3COO2 calcium acetate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.